Back now, continued focus on the ethnic unrest in Manipur, where the biggest mass burial of the Manipur violence victims is being held in Chura Chandpur today. I mean, heavy security and Section 144 or prohibitory orders being imposed in the district after clashes between members of the two tribal communities uh, last week. Ratandeep Chaudhary is now joining us live. So, Ratandeep, now Chura Chandpur has been the epicenter of the violence ever since it started back in May. And now the, these visuals of mass burial, extremely moving. But at the same time, you know, they give you a sense of the extent of the violence, particularly in areas like Chura Chanpur. That's right. In fact, Chura Chanpur has been one of the worst hit in this spell of violence that Manipur has witnessed since May 3rd. Remember, it is close to eight months that the dead bodies had been lying in the morgues in Imphal Valley as well as in Churachanpur uh, District Medical College. In fact, 41 dead bodies were transported last week by choppers from Imphal morgues to Churachanpur and 46 bodies were already there. So in total, 87 dead bodies, uh, 87 bodies would be, uh, you know, given a mass burial, a very moving, uh, uh, you know, moving visuals, those uh, on our screens and it is going to be a uh, very emotional uh, closure for the victim families uh, victims of this spell of violence in which more than 200 people were killed in Manipur now there is a sense of you know uh, peace in Manipur however uh, sporadic incidents keep on happening and in fact what is important to note here uh, is that uh, even on uh, uh, Sunday there was a scuffle in Churachanpur town and therefore section 144 remains imposed in Churachanpur massive security has been put in place uh, for this uh, mass burial which is taking place in Churachanpur and what is important to note that in in fact uh, there uh, uh, you know the family members have all gathered at the mass burial site remember the state government has uh, notified nine uh, spots acro across the state for mass burial after the supreme court had stepped in, uh, in in fact in a hearing last month the supreme court uh, clearly told the government that the uh, bodies cannot uh, be kept lying in the morgues and those which have been identified should be handed over to the family members for a, a decent burial and uh, those which have not been identified should should be uh, you know disposed of and therefore uh, the government uh, then actually uh, last week we saw the bodies were shifted from uh, Imphal Mark to different hill districts as well as those uh, belonging uh, to people of the valley region being transported back and therefore uh, first in Kankopi there was a mass burial of 19 people and this is the biggest one 87 bodies uh, uh, given mass burial uh, uh, this is a closure for the uh, family members and uh, for the civil society groups perhaps uh, uh, this is a time where uh, they would look forward to uh, uh, you know peace uh, uh, in Manipur particularly uh, this mass burial has been possible after the uh, Ministry of Home Affairs worked over time uh, to open up backdoor communication with the civil society groups to uh, decrease the hospital uh, you know uh, incidence of hostilities uh, that uh, Manipur had been witnessing. Also remember few months back the civil societies in Churachanpur did uh, try to, uh, for a similar type of a mass burial uh, near the Churachanpur Bishnupur district border and that actually resulted into uh, more uh, trouble with deepening of the conflict and that is the point of time Ministry of Home Affairs had asked uh, the uh, you know, process of mass burial to be kept on hold. Uh, negotiations were st uh, started with the civil society groups uh, not only in Churachanpur but also in Imphal Valley and uh, also there is already talks going on with the uh, you know cookie zomi uh, uh, rebel groups which are uh, in ceasefire so therefore there are attempts by the ministry of home affairs center as well as the state government to bring a sense of peace in manipur and right. these mass burials are seen as one step towards that Ratni, thanks very much for joining us with that update. Extremely moving visuals, as I said. And as you said, you know, sporad sporadic incidents of violence continue to be reported in the northeastern state. Uh, you know, though for some unfortunate reason, uh, the country might have lost interest in the violence in Manipur, but it still continues. Isolated incidents, of course. By and large, there is peace. But these visuals remind us of the extent of violence in Manipur and people who lost their relatives and the death and devastation unleashed by the violence.